Hi everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katrina and this is Cat and Moon Budgets. Today we're going to go over um, where did my money go for the month of February because I had a hell of a week. I was not able to film it until today, March 2nd. So that's what it is and that's what it's going to be. So um, I didn't fill this in all the way just because I didn't really want to. I just wanted to make sure I wrote down the numbers and then I was going to go over if I went over or under budget. So, um, I got these numbers from YNAB. It kind of took the guessing out of the highlighting method. Like I do that still, but I really go off the numbers in YNAB because it has like all the different category splits more accurately than my trackers do in here um so rent ended up being 13 14 98 and that was the tax fees for the rent payment and then the um renters insurance um and my rent is 12.95 without the tax payment so it was like a three dollar payment fee um, utilities was higher this month because we had our water bill come out in full, so that was six thirty ninety seven. dollars um, And I take a little bit out every month, but I don't count that towards utilities. I just count that as savings. And then I um, put the whole water bill payment as utilities. Um, groceries is $5.44 for February, and that was under by... $56 because my budget was $600 um, and that seems to be a pretty good number so far. Household is $189 and that was kind of right around the um, budget. I was trying to keep around $200 a month just because I include like the batteries, command hooks, um, stuff like that. That's like home improvement type things too. Um, any cleaning supplies, that kind of thing um, is what's included in here. Toiletries was only $17.06 because I just brought like toothbrush heads and mouthwash this month. That was it. We didn't need anything else. Medical is $158 because I'm going to have my copay start happening more because I did not get um, my badger care coverage for myself. It's only for my children now because I make too much money. Um, but that's okay. I just have to plan to have my copays come out. Um, and I take a lot of meds, so... <laughs> Like my son's methylphenidate that's coming out for his ADHD is going to be $10 for 180 pills because he takes such a small pill amount to equal out like a larger dosage. So he has to take three pills twice a day. So it's kind of dumb, but we do what's available because we can and it's easier that way. Um, car was 137 That was just gas in a car wash and like a wiper blade. So that was right around budget. I try to stay to like under 200. Um, miscellaneous was 292 and that's just because I lost receipts to categorize them or it just didn't really fit a category. So this number is getting lower so that means I'm getting better at categorizing things. So that was good. Impulses, I did this category because I will go to the store and just add things to the cart that I didn't really budget for. So I wanna start having a category for that just so I can see how bad my impulses affect my budget. So that's where that comes from. And I even like put it in a separate part of the cart too. So you would think I would stop doing it. Um, taxes, I had a file this month. So that was 110. That's usually not in the budget, but I knew it was going to be about $100. So we can say that was $10 over. Gifts was 75 and that was kind of right around what I was thinking. I put 100 in that account. Um, this was only nine, and that's just because I think I did not count the Canva in VidIQ, so it was really like 30-something, which is fine. Um, this category, I was over budget because um, my boyfriend lost his card, and then his new card never arrived. So he's been without his main card for a while, and... Um, so we went to Texas Roadhouse for Valentine's Day because I had the boys. So we all went there and enjoyed a meal together. And then we did 
golden corral for his birthday and I don't think I categorize the golden corral as a birthday thing I think I categorize it as eating out so that was $50 for the three of us and a drink so it was kind of pricey but I really like their food it was good um hobbies was 121 so that's getting lower I'm doing better at waiting until I have the money and I am currently learning how to play magic better and how to build decks differently so I can have this build up for that because there are quite a few cards actually not quite a few there's a million cards I don't have um and then if my boyfriend doesn't have a card or he doesn't want me to have one of his then I would be buying a card and then I have to buy sleeves and a deck box as I get them. So that's kind of where I'm wanting this to go and to stay away from the yarn arts for a while just because I have quite a bit of yarn built up. Entertainment was 90 um, and that was just like activities and things, puzzles that we got at the store, that type of stuff. So that was okay. Health and wellness was not planned. That was 25 for a subscription to kind of keep my mindset right. Um, I realized with this past week with my youngest son that we I really needed to prioritize that type of thing for myself because I haven't been. Um, clothes was 25. I don't remember what clothes I bought, but I just know it was 25. Um, beauty was 17 and that's just the nail care or things like that. I ran out of room because this is a different sheet than I normally use. Um, subscriptions was right on target with 180 and that's like Netflix, Hulu, um, Microsoft, Game Pass for the boys on the Xbox, that kind of thing. The kids ended up being to 18.91, and a lot of that was like Valentine's activities, clothes, um, that type of stuff. Furniture was not really planned. Um, it's like this ever rolling sinking fund that I have though so like I put money in there I just had more than I thought because I have to return some stools this weekend or this coming week because they're too tall for my like little breakfast bar extension that I have they're like three inches too tall and I don't have a way to sell them down so I have to get different ones um so that'll get money back into it and then birthday so was the birthday supplies for Jackson and that was 58.44 um, and then car maintenance was only 17 this month. So, and then we're going to go over to this portion because I didn't include my savings or um, my debt payments. So I saved it for this page. So my income is a lot higher this month because I got my tax return. And I had a school refund that came in. So that was a lot higher than I was expecting it to be. Um, but I managed to save $2,643.75 in the month of February. And then I paid off $962 worth of debt. And that was just my two cards from Capital One. I paid the balances off. Um, my boyfriend used the Capital One card at MagicCon just so he could see exactly how much he spent there. So he's going to be paying off what was put back on it. Um, but that's why we paid this off is so that I could um, have him use that because with his debit card down, he wouldn't have been able to go anymore or really he would have gone and just not been able to do anything. Um, so these were the categories that I saved in. Christmas, I saved 80 already. Car maintenance was 300. Emergency, 245. Birthdays, I put 69 in there or back to school, I put 69 in there. Birthdays, I put 100, vacation 50. That's for like the wedding that we have coming up in October because I put vacation time in for it. I'm counting it as vacation. Um, and then I put the entire tax refund into the bed because we got a new bed. So that is where my money went. And I'm actually pretty happy with these numbers. I haven't filled out the versus sheet yet between January and February, but I will. And then... I will just include it somewhere else maybe when I go over like March budget just to see like what my average spending has been in a month so if you guys enjoyed this video please 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 give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel 
I'm hoping to get to 300 subscribers by the end of March. That is my goal. I really want to hit it. So I'm going to try my hardest to stay super consistent and deliver video types that you guys want to see. So if there's a video that I'm not currently doing, please let me know down in the comment box down below and I will do my hardest to get back into doing those videos. I am currently working on making my own like placeholder money just because I have a bunch of colorful um, paper that I want to use up. So I'm going to make KMB books, um, which is Cat and Moon Budgets and first letter of all of it, KMB. So that way I can just use that and do cash stuffings that way. Um, but yeah, so I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.